Happy fall everyone! For today's episode, I am going to show you how to make these cute and adorable fabric pumpkins. So if you want to see how, keep on watching! We'll need some fabrics. Here I just use a bunch of scrap fabrics from my stash and I just kind of sewed it together to form a just a bigger fabric so I can make a circle out of it. And I just use this template so I can cut out a circle. So the bigger the circle is, the bigger the pumpkin is going to be. So this yellow template is about 10 inches wide. And I also added about one half inch seam allowance. Obviously, you can also use your sewing machine for this, but this is very easy. I would say this is a beginner project. Actually, my daughter made her own pumpkin too. I will show you that at the end. And then I'm going to go ahead and do a running stitch all the way around the edge of the fabric. And then I'm going to gather it to form a pouch. I did not trim off the thread yet because I am going to use it to secure the pumpkin at the end. Now it's time to fill in the pouch. Here I'm just using some fillers from an old pillow. Um, you can also use beans if you want to. After I am satisfied with the fullness of the pumpkin, I am going to pull the thread as tight as possible and I'm going to secure it. And here I'm just pushing around the filling so I will get the right look of the pumpkin. Right after that, it should look something like this. And now it's time to add a stem. You can use anything really, but I have these uh, wooden clips and I thought it's a perfect size. 
I am going to remove that metal part at the center and then wrap it using a twine. Start gluing the jute string right at the middle of the clip because you will not see that. I'm going to stick that inside a pumpkin so there is no use for me to add jute string on the bottom. And on the top of the stem, I just simply coil the ends of the jute string. I'm just going to put a dab of glue right here and then stick the stem inside the pumpkin. And then I'm going to glue a bunch of leaves around the stem. For extra detail, I decided to add some squiggly vines. So I got this. In the garage my husband is doing some electrical work in the garage so i found this so i thought it was a perfect uh, wire to make a vine so i just kind of wrap it around a coloring pen i added a dab of glue and then put it as close to the stem as possible This is my youngest daughter making her own pumpkin. This is actually our art project for the day. When they saw the gingham pumpkin that I made earlier, they insisted they want to make their own too. So these are the finished product. As you can see, my daughters added buttons to embellish the pumpkins. So I thought it's a really cute detail as well. I actually really, really like their pumpkins. It actually goes really well with my decor. These are the other two pumpkins that I made. The smallest one was from the dollar store and I just kind of embellished it with a gingham fabric. I put these pumpkins on the front porch of the house. So yeah, I really like how they turn out. It's simple and it's just cute. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you like this simple tutorial. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I will see you in my next video. Bye!